she knows your weak spot. She knows your weakness. So she's just keeping tabs on you to see if you have become your best version yet. Because if you became your best version, then she's planning on piggybacking off of you. Just like she jumped the fence to see if the grass was green on the other side. Men do what they want. Boys do what they can. Salute, King. She keeps tabs on you because she's always looking for the bigger, better deal. Shout out to Captain Black. He's the first person I heard coin that phrase, the BBD, bigger, better deal. She's always looking for the bigger, better deal. This is speaking on women of her type, right? Hypergamy, hypergamous woman. She's looking for the best of the best. She's looking for the bigger, better deal. She has no goals. She has no morals. She has nothing going on in her life. She's looking for the greatest opportunity to piggyback. She's looking for individuals who she can piggyback on to have the best life possible. This is called a goal digger or a goal digger, right? Individuals who ha don't have goals of themselves, specifically a woman who don't have goals, but men do this shit as well, who don't have goals of themselves, so they piggyback off the next person goals. This is a woman who would see a guy is on his way to the NFL, so she connects with him, she manipulates him, she puts it on him, she get him caught up in his head and caught up in his penis, and she latches onto him because she knows he's going to be big. She knows he has great things coming and she has no goals of her own. So she's going to piggyback off his goals. This is why your ex keep tabs on you. This is why old girlfriends and your ex-wife keep tabs on you. It's simply because when she was with you, she wanted the bigger, better deal. She was looking for what was bigger and better out there. And now the grass isn't greener on the other side because the guy she may have dealt with, he was a high value male or he was aware of himself. So he had no interest in respecting her or taking her serious because he's like, hey, if you did your husband like that, if you did your boyfriend like that, I know you're going to do me like that. So I'm going to have my phone with you and I'm going to send you back. So she's keeping tabs on you because she wants to see if you're achieving, if you're getting better, if you're improving in life because she's going to latch back onto you. She's going to use that old love that you have. She's going to manipulate you because I'm pretty sure if y'all been together, she knows your weak spot. She knows your weakness. So she's just keeping tabs on you to see if you have become your best version yet. Because if you became your best version, then she's planning on piggybacking off of you. Just like she jumped the fence to see if the grass was green on the other side, she's looking and keeping tabs on you just in case you see or achieve in life and become what you are meant to be, become your best version, so she can hop that fence and come right back and piggyback back off your goals if you allow her to. So be aware of this. She doesn't have genuine intentions. She's manipulative and she's a user. And ultimately, she's a bum because anybody who doesn't have goals and aspirations of them own, of their own or of themselves are a bum in my eyes. I don't care. I don't care if you come from wealth. If you have the nicest Mercedes Benz, you have a Tesla, your parents spoil you, but you have no goals and aspirations of your own. You just have hand me down of wealth. People never heard of that. They hear hand me downs of, you know, in poverty where, you know, you, you, your brother give you his, his double XL pants and you have to wear them to school, right? Or his two big shoes. But people never heard of hand me down of coming from wealth and your family gives you everything. Therefore, you have no goals. You have no aspirations because you have everything, quote unquote, that this world indicates success of. You have a Benz. You have a nice home. You have, you know, you live in the suburbs. You have the bougie friends and family. You, you stay on Rodeo Drive, Mail Rose, right? So you don't have to have aspirations because you was born into it. What people are trying to achieve, you was born into it. So you think. But in my eyes, Alpha Sincere eyes, you're a bum. I don't respect anybody who doesn't have goals and aspirations. When I didn't have goals and aspirations, I didn't respect myself. So I'm damn sure not going to give sympathy to any man, woman, or child on this earth that doesn't have goals and aspirations. That's the real definition of bum. Women are called me and bums for being down, trying to come up. I'm not talking about the guys that's bumming and playing video games all day, smoking weed all day, not, don't have any goals. I'm talking about the guy that's really trying. The guy's just working a nine to five, trying to work on his business on the side, you know, living paycheck, paycheck to make things happen. What would call that man a bum? Catching the bus, she'll call that man a bum. That's not a bum to me. A bum to me is any person who isn't willing to try, who isn't putting the effort in to try, and who has no drive or passion to be anything in life but expect handouts. That's what a bum is to me. Expect everybody else to do the work for them. A user. So if you're rich and wealthy because your parents give you everything, to me, you're a bum. The moment your parents start giving, stop giving you everything, you will be where I'm at. You will be where he at. You will be where they're at. You know, that's a bum to me. If a person is spoiled by their rich parents, your parents are rich. You're not rich in my eyes. If your parents give you everything you don't have to work for, you're not rich. The reason why I say you're not rich, some people say, no, you are rich because your parents signed their deed to you. They signed their will to you. No, that's why I feel a person not rich. I'm talking on a spiritual level. And even, a, you know, just a personality level. 
throw that same individual, right? This person who, okay, you're left fucking 100 million by your parents or 50 million by your parents, you know, you're left in the wheel, the house and the, the real estate and the land. Take that same individual that you guys are saying, no, they are rich, they're not a bum, right? Throw them in poverty without resources and without their parents' help. They're not rich. See what I'm saying? A true individual and a true rich person in my eyes is when I hear certain individuals who come from nothing who says, if I lost it all today, I can get it right back. That's wealth to me. That's rich to me because you have gained, you know, inherited the know-how, the education, the knowledge to get where you are. That's wealth. That's rich, bro. You have made yourself a millionaire from, from nothing. Now you know how to make yourself a millionaire again. You know you have the drive. You know you have the persistence to do that again. So if they was to strip you of that today, you know how to get it back. And I know because that's who I am. I've been through times where I didn't have cars. I didn't have cars. I had to catch the bus. I had to walk. I know how to get a car again. I've been through times where I had jobs. I didn't have jobs. I know how to get a job again. Been through times where I had my own place and I was living with people. I can get my own place again because I know how to do it because I've have, I have done it. I mean, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the know-how is what makes me rich and what makes me wealthy because once we do it and we know how to do it, that's what the wealth is. The same entitled little girl or little boy who gets everything from them parents, if their parents were to cut them off today, they probably cause harm to themselves because they're users, they're freeloaders. This might not even be by their, you know, choosing, it's by default because their, their parents never showed them anything. They never showed them hustle or character. They coddled them. Don't let this be you. Salute, King. If you enjoyed that video, show out the sincere some love and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to follow on Instagram at Mr. Female Nature.